Got to make sure I uh, enjoy Valentine's here for a little bit with these with these three. We got one homesick too, but um, happy Valentine's Day to to all the ladies out there. Certainly, you know, as a father of four daughters and and uh, have a beautiful wife at home, um, they mean everything to me. And so glad we can take a minute and, and celebrate. Um, very pleased, uh, obviously, to get the win. Certainly, plenty of things that we <clears throat> excuse me that we can clean up. Um, but we're we're about to hit a monster stretch, and that's going to start Wednesday against a. Just a team that's playing as well as anybody in the league in USD. Left eight straight in like 20 seconds with the flag and fall in there. How big was that stretch? Yeah, that was big. And um, I thought Rocky Cruiser just really showed some some tremendous leadership. You know, he stepped up and he was so good. You know, I just wasn't pleased with where we were, our focus, our energy out of the gates in the second half. And, and Rocky really carried us. They cut it to two and. Um, he, he was big time for us, and, and, and that's what this team is capable of. You know, we, we have the ability to flip a switch. Um, what I'm stressing to these guys is their head coach is let's keep that switch on so it doesn't need to be flipped on. You described the, the, the beginning of the second. I mean, the, the heave goes in. You go from up 13, now you're up 10, and then they score at least the first six, maybe even the first eight. Veteran group. What are those conversations like? Yeah, I mean that, that's that's where the disappointment comes in a little bit. Ross is is you're you're trying to get these guys to, and again I use my terms the correctly the the knockout punches so to speak. And um, you know when we you got a three possession lead, let's take it to four. Let's hit the next single uh, rather than swinging for a home run. You know th those things and 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 just again sitting down and getting stops. You let someone come into your home court and. Shoot 50, 50, or excuse me, 40, 49 percent. That, that's just too much, and that that hasn't been our identity lately. His night was his night was Tyson esque, especially you know for him to get hot from the three. Um, he's certainly capable. He hasn't been shooting it well. We know what he can do with his energy on the blocks and on the glass. Um, but for him to get going from three two in the second half, we need a couple. A couple of those were big shots, and they were timely. Dave, talk about Rocky's game a little bit. You know, that roller coaster, he starts the game with those two big blocks in the first half, picks up foul trouble, then has to kind of, you know, ride through the game. Just talk about him kind of yeah, going and I think that's I think that's part of it, too. We've got to do a better job of keeping Rocky out of foul trouble. Some of it's on him. Some of it's on our guards, letting the ball get by them and putting Rocky in some compromising situations. But, again, I can't uh, – of all the things that, you know, I maybe wasn't pleased with for here or there, I was extremely pleased with Rocky Cruiser tonight and, and the way he showed some leadership and stepped up to start the second half. Spoken before about Sam Griesel and how his effect on the game may not necessarily be in the box score. I thought he had a particularly Sam Griesel type of game, playing a little center for you guys, crashing the boards, tipping the ball, just making little plays. Yeah, and the, the, also the encouraging part, too, is he's making some strides, too. He's getting to the free throw line. He's getting paid at the free throw line. Um, so, you know, very, very pleased. But you're right. I mean, it, it's not just a, you know, a, a 20 and, and 10, something like that kind of box score, especially with some of his minutes limited as we're still working him back and bringing him off the bench, those things. Um, but he's got the ability to, to stuff the stat sheet, and he's got the, the feet to, you know, get around a big. He's also got the length and physicality uh, to wrestle with the big, and, and that's where his versatili versatility comes in real, real handy at both ends of the floor. Wayne coming to Fargo. Any thoughts on that? You got no, I mean, and, and you know, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss those. We've had like, I think it was, I can't remember who I was talking to, but there's no natural rivalry at all by location, by anything. But we've had some battles, and, and I'm gonna be clear when I say this because who knows what happens in March and Sioux Falls. But um, I got a ton, ton of respect for John Kaufman. Ton of respect. That that man can coach. Um, you, you can see they, they recruit a guy, and, he, and he, he, can, he, can, he can see talent. You got a guy like John Conchar when nobody wanted him, and, and now he's playing for the Grizzlies. I think Deontay Billups is going to have a terrific career. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, it is what it is. It's out of, out of my control, and, and we'll bring UMKC in, and, and that'll be good as, as we continue to, um, to hopefully establish this league. I, but I do. I wish – got a ton of respect. I uh, wish them nothing but the best. And I say everything with the caveat of knowing that, hey, we might play them again in, in Sioux Falls. This year, Dave, what's, what's been involved just grinding out wins and finding a way to get the W at home? Yeah, I think, I think that's it. We've been able to find ways and grind them out, you know, flip that switch for enough enough of the stretches. And even that one loss is, is still – that Utah Valley thing still sticks with me. You know, we didn't have Rocky and – couldn't guard the basketball on that on that right lane line, but um, no, please. I think that's it's so important um, to to hold serve and take care of business at home. And you know we got two huge runs on the road next week, and then come back and and hopefully send you know four great seniors out the right way. It's been good. I know 
you know, against ORU the other day, we had 37. Buys a Nation was terrific. You know, a, just an odd Valentine's Friday night, but but it was good, good. And so hopefully, you know, we can we can do our part on the road a little bit, keep this excitement rolling, and, and pack this place uh, to finish it out. South Dakota State and South Dakota just keep on winning. Um, how, how difficult is it to take these next four monster games and make sure you're focusing on one at a time? Not difficult at all. Uh, I'll be honest with you, Ross, and uh, I, I understand your question. This was the one that had my attention, and it had my attention for a lot of reasons, and I think my attentions proved right. You know, I didn't think we were sharp. I didn't love our energy and our focus in some situations. You know, the next, the next one at a time, but the next four are pretty easy sells to the guys in their own minds. This is an experienced group. Uh, they understand what's on the line, and, and they also understand our competition, too. Six in a row for you guys. How does that sound to you? Sounds Pretty good to me, uh, you know. Uh, you know, uh, ah, I really don't know what to say to that. You know, it's it's always good to win, especially at home and on the road. Um, but you you gotta continue to build off you know wins like this. Uh, these last four games are definitely big, and uh, just gotta keep winning. Tyson, was it about this home cooking? You guys are eleven and one this season, and find ways to grind out wins here inside the Shield Center. Uh, I feel like I feel like you always gotta protect home court. Um, I think that's our biggest, biggest piece. Uh, you know, we want to have people come back, and you definitely don't want to leave the fans of Fargo and the, uh, disappointed. And you know, that's that's big for us protecting home court. Tyson, were you? Did you make it a point this game to kind of look up for your teammates? It, it seemed like you were pass first early. Um, if you, uh, I feel like that's a little bit underrated because I always pass first. Uh, I, I always that's that's the first thing I look for is. My teammates, and you know, at the end of the day, they'll find me back, and I think that's the biggest part of my game that I really like. Rocky, what'd you like about to start the game? You got two big blocks and you got into follow trouble, but then you found your rhythm offensively. Just kind of going through that roller coaster. What was it like today? Yeah, um, you know, to start the game, I felt like those two blocks kind of helped us out a little bit, get us a little bit of energy. Um, then picked up those two quick ones, um, set majority or a, a bunch of the first half. So came out cold. You know, kind of came out a little bit more aggressive in the second half, um, just to try to get us going a little bit. Let me take you back to those eight points, I think, in about 20 seconds or so. That flagrant fall was in there. Mm -hmm. How big of a stretch was that? Do you I, to be honest with you, I can't even remember the game. Uh, I feel like I have that problem. Uh, <laughs> right after the game, I kind of just forget. It's on to the next one. So to be honest with you, I can't really tell you what happened. So your three-point shot was falling today, though. Um, what was going on with that feeling? It looked like you were in the Oh yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I really couldn't tell you what's going on. Uh, you know, got in the gym, just get as much shots up as I can. Uh, you know, get in with my teammates and just try to hammer them out. Rocky, the, the, the prayer at, at half. You guys go from from third. I know, <laughs> the, uh, go from up thirteen to up ten, and then I think they score either the first six, or the first eight points of the second half. What's the the veteran resolve of your team? What's kind of the message when they're creeping back towards you? Yeah, I mean, you look at it, um, especially coming out of half. I mean, the half court heave, is, it is what it is. Um, some are going to go in, some aren't. Um, but coming out of half, we got to have a little bit more urgency, obviously. Um, I think it was an 8 0 run or 6 0 run, something like that. Um, but obviously, we do have a veteran group that's capable of, uh, of noticing moments and uh, flipping a switch. Um, we just got to, we just got to, you know, play that way the entire half. Excited to get back to two game weeks until the, the season's over? Yeah, definitely. Sitting, sitting for five days or six days is, is definitely tough. Um, you got a lot going through your head. Just antsy to play. Um, it's good to be in that routine. Tyson or Rocky, have you guys ever been in a situation where you had to wait an extra five minutes or so to, at halftime with like a bolt or something coming off the rim there? Uh, if you you remember when we played South Dakota and the fire alarm went off? Pretty sure that was one. Yeah. Oh, it's Fort Wayne. Exactly. Hey, yeah, it's a coincidence.